I'm going to be judged. I'm an actor. We don't like that. I think I'll try and build up a bond with John Lithgow. He's in front of me when I'm baking, so I can I'll just watch him. Am I coming across as a bit weird? I'm not using eggs or butter because they're vegan brownies. It's important for me to have the moral high ground in case I don't win. I've just spilt some chocolate on the carpet. That's not coming off, is it? Oh, yeah, John's is going in. I just want to do what John does so that he'd think, oh, his are going in at the same time as mine. Perhaps we'll be friends and I'll invite him to Hollywood to be in a film. My God, what's he talking about? Are you happy with him? No. You didn't bulk when you touched them. That's a good thing. No, but wait till my tongue gets it. <laughs> you say that to all the boys. <laughs> These are classic John Richardson brownies. They're square, they're bitter, they're very unpleasant to be around. <laughs> <laughs> It's a bit claggy. Mm, that's a good thing, right? I think it tastes good. I just think the texture's slightly off. I put that down to your problem rather than the recipe. It's like we're in a relationship. Um, <laughs> I'll take that. Do you know I'm happy with that? But really well, lovely like cleaning. That. Thank you. A little bit on the carpet. But me, I'd have lino down. But that's for you to decide. <laughs> that's what it tastes like, actually, lino. I think we're done, Paul. <laughs> I've just learned that it has got nothing to do with trekking in the Alps. I don't know if you've ever been to a supermarket. I thoroughly recommend them. They cut all this bit out. Doesn't look like dough to me yet. This obviously is not going to work. Half an hour remaining. You turned it upside down. <laughs> oh, I'll tell you what, mate. Use these. You've got four of them down oh. the sides. In return, you can get me into a film or something. Can't hear when he doesn't want to hear. Mm -hmm. Oh, dear God. <laughs> it's a new kind of Swiss roll. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Has this even been in the oven? <laughs> <laughs> the sponge? I don't think it's cooked. Yeah. It's certainly not saleable at a cake store. Uh, I remember those words to my dying day. <laughs> <laughs> Look at poor Winston. He's all lumpy. I did use what we call plumpers. Sort of swelled my face and it gave me... Church, it was extraordinary. And I wore a great wig that made me look even balder than I am. Sadly, I'm a little bit more like Winston Churchill than I realize. John is building a gingerbread number 10 Downing Street in a scene inspired by his multi-award winning role as Churchill in The Crown. I heard on the grapevine, this might not be true, that you did Yoda's voice at one point. Oh, he's impatient, is he? Oh, yep. Wow. They're going in. 10 Downing Street, all ready to paint. I gave the queen a black eye, and I haven't given her a proper crown. And they all stand up. I am ridiculously proud. <laughs> Here we are. I most recently played Winston Churchill in The Crown. It was the best time I've ever had. And I created my second to the last scene. Churchill invites the queen to 10 Downing Street for dinner. It's great, it really is. I particularly like the garden shed uh, that you have here for down, <laughs> down the streets. <laughs> well, I had to put something on top. It's a bit cookie-like rather than gingerbread. Well, let's put it back in the oven and see if that <laughs> makes any difference. No, that was really good. But Thank well you. done. That's fantastic. Thank you. I think I've made friends with John Lithgow, and I think he's going to write a film for me in Hollywood. He hasn't said as much. What he said was, can you leave me alone? I'm trying to finish the Swiss roll. I've joined the Bake Off family. I can always say that I was on the great stand-up to cancer Bake Off. <laughs>